Hello again. As I continue this series uh, describing what the court, the receiver, and the banks uh, have put me through over the last year and a half, really going back 12 years, I wanted to take a moment to stress to all of you the sense of urgency that I have. The sense of urgency basically pertains to the receiver and Roma Bank. The receiver in that he is trying to conduct a fire sale and devastate the value of my companies. And I cannot let that happen. And there is a sense of urgency because even as I speak, he's trying to take inventory and sell my equipment and my company for far less than what it's worth. And then there's the issue with Roma Bank, who's trying to uh, conduct an end run, basically trying to cut bait. It was Roma Bank that started this whole domino effect. Now they're trying to separate a small portion of my debt which is legitimate to Roma Bank. They're trying to separate that and ignore the $8 million claim I have against them. They've sold a small portion, about $600,000 worth of that debt to a third party. That third party is now trying to foreclose on three of my properties. All the while, there's an $8 million claim I had that they're hoping will go away. So I have a real sense of urgency to make sure that this does not happen. And we have to stop them in their tracks now. Concerning the receiver, there's a big discrepancy between what the receiver says my company is worth and what I know it's worth. There's like a $20 million, yes, $20 million discrepancy. They have a report into the court showing a deficit net worth of over $8 million. Whereas I have documentation showing a net worth exceeding $11 million. What puzzles me is why the court does not take a look, say, look, time out, Mr. Receiver. Let's see what you've done over the past year and a half, in which time you've billed the LGR companies over $300,000. Mr. Rogers says there's an $11 million net worth. You say... It's a deficit net worth of $8 million. Let's find out what you've done during the past year and a half. I'm also puzzled why the other banks, they have so much at stake here. I legitimately owe Liberty Bell Bank approximately, what, well, a few million dollars as Susquehanna Bank. There's no denying that. I'm not trying to deny that. I'm trying to get my company back so that everybody can get paid. But if the receiver has his way, what he's trying to do now is sell the company for pennies on the dollar to basically try to make lies become truth. Again, I cannot let that happen. So the purpose of these presentations is an attempt to have the truth fall on ears, ears that are willing and able to make a difference. It may be you, Mr. Investor, who's looking for an opportunity for a handsome return. I will be more than happy to open my books or what books I have access to because the receiver is 
basically controlling my company, but I have projections, I have reports of where we were prior to the receiver coming in. You can decide whether this is a good, viable investment or not. Make an investment and at the same time have a hand in seeing that justice is served. And then it may be you, you, Mr. Philanthropist, who is looking for a cause, a cause for justice, who can see something that is wrong and make it right. Then again, it may be you, Mr. Everyday Citizen, who is willing to donate five, 10, 20, $100 to help the small and businessman. I once read a quote that says, if we don't hang together, we'll all hang separately. As you go through and view these videos, I'm sure you will be amazed at what the business climate and what our legal system allows to happen. But please don't just shake your head and think that you cannot do anything about it. Just as your vote, your single vote counts when we vote for our elected officials, whatever you can do, whether it's by spreading the word, encouraging someone else to get involved, sending a small or large donation, whatever, you can make a difference. The only way for evil to prevail in this world is for the good people to sit silent and idle. Please get involved. Not only help me in my situation, but help all those others who may now be in that situation or may find themselves in a similar situation in the future. Please stay tuned and please spread the word. Thank you.